Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today I'll be doing a test on Bullguard Internet Security 2013, which is still in beta. They have made quite a few changes in this version. As you can see, they have changed uh, their interface once again, and uh, it's getting better, I guess. I mean, it looks really nice, and it's fairly easy to navigate and use. You can see the advanced settings if you need to. You can do your scans. It's fairly responsive. There you go. They have changed the scan interface as well. And now it you can go into low resource mode in case you want to do that. and uh, it's fairly good in face I guess so now let's uh, get to the advanced settings now I've set everything to stock I haven't messed with any of the settings and you can see that by default they have uh, your default real-time and behavioral detection so that's uh, their far way of detecting CRD malware. Not too many components, fairly simple program, so I like that. Let's just leave it that way. And now let me do an update. As you can see, update successful. It's already up to date, so now let's uh, get started with the test. Before that, let me just uh, take a look at the memory usage. Should be fairly light. I haven't noticed any system slowdown. In fact, it's uh, not that light right now. See the Bullguard scanner is really ticking off the CPU, but hopefully that's going to drop. But I haven't really seen much of a system slowdown ever since I've installed it. This is interesting though. Okay, so it's using about well about 50 megs of RAM. Remember this is in beta, so it'll most probably drop off uh, while we get to the final version, but we'll see. So now let's get started with some of the links. These are all CRD malware. Let me try a few and see how Bullguard protects us. This is a high detection rate spyware. This one was caught and uh, successfully removed or blocked. Let's try this exploit. There you go, this one was also caught by the web blocking service. This uh, really low detection rate Java Trojan and this one was caught, so that is pretty good. This one's also caught, and this had a detection rate of, well, 3 out of 36. So that's fairly impressive. Let's try out this Trojan. Okay, this one was also caught, and moved to the quarantine. This another Jaffa Trojan, and this time it was blocked. There you go. This website was trying to drop the file, and the file was blocked by Bullguard. This is some kind of infected HTML and has been blocked by the safe browsing. Okay, this is um, some kind of adware, and it's basically the same file that we tried previously, just on a different website. 
So I guess all of these must be the same file. Okay, this one was also cut. This was some kind of adware. Okay, so now I'll just uh, look around the web and I'll be back. Welcome back everybody. Let's uh, try our last rest of the links from malware domain list. This is a fake AV. This is some kind of fake AV again, and this one's dead. These are all redirects to some fake AV. This is some kind of exploit kit, but it's dead. Let's try run this. And whoops. That is not good. Okay, finally. Bull guard firewall. Okay, it's cut by the behavior blocker anyway, I guess. I did see a behavior blocker alert, I guess. I'm not I don't know why it just disappeared. I just answered the firewall alert and the behavior blocker alert just disappeared on its own. Maybe it was blocked, I'm not very sure, but most probably it was because it did start doing something really suspicious. It just shut down the Internet Explorer and it's still running in there, I guess. There you go, it's still in memory. So Bullguard hasn't got rid of it completely so far. Let me see, can I see the logs or something? I don't think uh, Bullguard keeps a log of whatever it blocks. Not very sure because I can't find anything. Okay, just to be sure, let's uh, try that one again. Because I want to make sure if the behavior blocking really works. Because that one was apparently missed by the signatures. Okay, malware is attempting to execute. It shut down my browser successfully. No alert from Bullguard, so far at least. And I can't right click on my desktop, neither can I select any of my icons, so Something is definitely weird here. Pretty sure the malware is successfully running in the RAM. There you go.
I can open up my task manager. The taskbar is responsive, but if you see, I can click on any of these icons. So now I'll just do a quick scan and we'll see if Bullguard finds it and removes it. Otherwise, I'll just uh, proceed with the test. Welcome back, everybody. Bullguard actually caught the file in the scan, and you can see that here. It's a Trojan agent, and it's been cut. And so, most probably, it was stopped by Bullguard. So, I'm going to stop the scan, and I'm going to fix uh, both the issues. And it says now the computer is clean, so I'll continue with some fresh links from Malware Blacklist. This one was caught by the safe browsing. This one's dead. This is probably some kind of malware script, but it's not being detected by Bullguard. Let's wait for this one to load up. Okay, this one was caught by the safe browsing. This one was also caught by the safe browsing. Okay, this one's also cut, so, so far Bullguard has blocked everything. So this is fairly impressive. Bullguard has so far, okay, guess I spoke too soon. This one's not caught by the web blocking. Okay, so most probably this was also removed. I don't know where the alerts went. Let me just try one more. Okay, this one was not blocked. This one's most probably dead. Okay, so this one was caught by the safe browsing, so it's a fairly decent uh, job by Bullguard. Now I'll just do a scan with Hitman Pro and see if it finds anything. I just wanted to show you guys the CPU usage has gone down, but it's still using about 50 megs of RAM or something around that, so it's uh, 
Well, I can say it's fairly light because uh, although it uses about 50 or 60 megs of RAM, it's still not uh, slowing down the system in any way. It's not affecting the responsiveness of the system. So I would say it's uh, fairly light, although I mean it uses quite a bit of RAM because that's what people like to see. So now I'll just do a scan with Hitman Pro and show you guys the results. Hitman Pro hasn't found anything as you can see in the results. All it's found are a few of tracking cookies and it wanted to upload the Bullguard installer which I know is clean so I just cancelled that. So the Bullguard 2013 beta did very well. It just blocked everything and their web blocking has been pretty impressive. I mean it's blocked most of the things that it should have blocked like exploits HTML scripts and all that kind of stuff and the behavioral blocking I haven't really seen much of it because the signatures did the job mostly but uh, I'm pretty sure that is gonna work out just fine in fact it may not be the best of uh, zero day protection but you know it's better to have something than nothing so it's a fairly good security suite if you want to buy it I'd say you can do that. I'll do another test when the final version comes out. So certainly they have improved somewhat and they are improving over the years so I'm hoping uh, this time they'll release an even better product. So hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Have a nice day.